welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. For today's Sunday morning get ready with me, we're going to be doing a full face of Guerlain. I recently picked up some of the Guerlain Holiday and I do also have a Guerlain eyeshadow that I haven't used yet. So we're going to be pulling out some of my old favorites and using the new to create a full face of Guerlain. So if you're curious to see what I picked up and how I created this look, keep watching. I am really, really excited to play with some of this new Guerlain makeup, including a couple pieces from the Guerlain Holiday Collection. We're going to go ahead and start with foundation, though. I have the Le Essentiel. This is the High Perfection 24-Hour Wear Foundation. This is a matte foundation. They do have a new foundation, and Sulphur just will not ship it to me. I have added it to the cart so many times. Will not ship to me, so I'm not sure what's going on there. And now I'm kicking myself. I did just place an order with Harrods. Um, and they do have the new Guerlain foundation at Harrods. And I forgot. I forgot that I wanted it. So I have to remember the next time I order from Harrods to pick it up. So this is a pretty light foundation in terms of shade. And like I said, it is a matte foundation. So I am wearing a more hydrating primer today and I'm not going to use a lot just because it is so matte. My skin is changing and it's not as oily as it used to be. So the first time I wore this it was a really a really good foundation. But as my body changes it is actually less oily. But I did just use a little bit and you can see the difference there. It gives a nice coverage. I think the shade is probably a little bit too light for me, but I do have the new bronzer. We'll definitely be using that. There is a fragrance to this foundation. It's not like the meteorite smell. I don't know what the smell is, but I definitely smell it. And to blend this in, I am using a BK Beauty 101. Their Black Friday Cyber Monday sale is still going on. I will link all that information down below. You can save anywhere. They say 20 to 35%, but uh, most everything is just 20% off. I think some of their collections, their bundles are already discounted. And then on top of that discount, it's another 20% off. So when you combine the reduced price plus the discount, I think is where you're getting the upwards of 35%. So there's the foundation. I do think it's really nice. The uh, foundation will stay all day, but if you have dry skin, this is not the foundation for you. They do have another one, another foundation though that is more radiant or um better suited for those with drier skin i do not have a guerlain concealer i don't even know if they have one um so i'm going to use my chanel this is the i guess that didn't really help you this is the new sublimage and i have shade b20 so i'm just going to take my spatula I'm going to scoop a little bit out. That's too much, actually. And apply it. This is a really, really hydrating concealer. I do really, really like it. So if you are someone with drier eyes, more mature skin, this is a really good concealer. I'm just going to take the same BK Beauty 101 that I used my foundation with to blend the concealer. Are you guys still shopping the sales? I, the sales this year were overwhelming. I don't know that I have felt so overwhelmed in the years past. And so I'm not sure if it's just that people are buying less. So the sales I felt maybe were more aggressive. Um, but I was just like overwhelmed. So overwhelmed. I did shop. Um, I did shop. Like I said, I placed an order at Harrods. If you... Um, follow me on Instagram. I posted that the Harrods Advent Calendar was significantly on sale. It has never been on sale. Like it normally sells out the first day to the point where I can't even get it. I've tried for years. 
never been able to get it. Now it is on sale. Harrods had 10% off on top of the already reduced price. So it brought the advent calendar down to like just over $200. And you get all these full size products in there. And the box itself is gorgeous. It is stunningly gorgeous. So I couldn't resist. And they had Sisley on sale. If they're still on sale, I'm, I'm going to link this. I'm going to link it down below because it's such, I mean, it's such a good deal. The primer, the double tint your primer, which is what I use pr pretty much on a regular basis, was so it's two hundred and ten dollars here in the states. At Harrods, it was one hundred and thirty. Plus, you're getting ten percent off of that, so um, it brings it down to like one hundred and seventeen dollars. That's just unheard of. You do have to pay shipping at Harrods, okay? So, yes, you are paying shipping. Shipping is like forty two dollars. But you're saving so much and there's no tax. With Selfridges, I pay a global shipping, but I also pay taxes. So it kind of like off, I mean, it kind of all balances out, right? And I just felt like it was a good deal. So I'm going to link all that below because I love a good deal. For powder, I have the Guerlain Loose Powder in shade 3 medium. This is a really, really good powder. I do really, really like it. And I just made the biggest mess. Oh, goodness. Um, it is a really, really good powder. I, I like it. I don't use it as much as I should. Um, I think I bought this. I think I bought this at, Her uh, Selfridges. So I'm taking a BK Beauty 102 to apply. This does have <laughs> the meteorite smell. <laughs> like it just overwhelmed me. <laughs> oh God. Um, it dissipates very, very quickly. But it's there. Woo. So be careful. But it does go away, like, super quickly. I can't smell it anymore. But that initial first application, I, I got a little too much in. <laughs> got a little too much. It was a little, a little overwhelming. For bronzer, I picked up the new um, holiday bronzer. This is the Terracotta Starlight. And it is in shade 3, medium, warm. I have said it countless times. The Guerlain bronzers are beautiful. Here's the packaging. It looks just like all the other Guerlain uh, packaging. All of the other Guerlain bronzers. Here is the inside. It is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. However... The, after the first time using this, the gold is going to go away. It's just an overspray. It won't be there. I don't think that I have this shade. I have medium cool in this combination. I do have last year's holiday. I don't remember what shade it was, but it's at the lake. Um, and then I do have another completely other bronzer. And this was the holiday from a few years ago. This is the Golden Bee. And this is an illuminating powder. So this was more of like a shimmer bronzer. Um, so it's not in a shade. But I don't think that I have medium warm. So we're going to use that today. I'm really, really excited. Yeah, I dipped my brush in and there you go. So I'm using the Sonia G Jumbo Bronzer. I still have it. I'm still trying to love it, you guys. But honestly, it's not my favorite. But I did spend Thanksgiving at the lake and I left all my makeup <laughs> which means I left all my brushes that I use on a regular basis so I don't have those currently my husband is supposed to come home later today and hopefully he'll bring all that so but here is the new holiday bronzer it is beautiful it's really really beautiful I cannot cannot say enough how much I love these bronzers and I did pick this up on sale um this was one of the items that I purchased during the Bergdorf's Black Friday sale was the new Guerlain holiday bronzer so if it is still available I will link it both at Bergdorf's and Neiman's and Saks they all have some sort of like sale going for blush this is the only Guerlain blush that I have it is super super bright it's called pink me up it is bright. It's, 
Um, this also does smell <laughs> like the meteorites. So if you are one who is like super against fragrance, this is probably not a brand for you. But the products themselves are gorgeous. It looks really, really bubblegum pink in the package. It doesn't show up quite so pink on the cheeks, which I do really like. It was like two years ago now. They had some blush meteorites that came out. Oh, wow, those were gorgeous. I, they sold out before I could get them, but they were, they were just gorgeous. Um, so I'm hopeful one day they will come out with more of those. But there is the blush. And again, this is shade Pink Me Up. One of my all-time favorite highlighters is Guerlain. However, it is not available anymore. But I don't have a Guerlain highlighter that is available. All of the Guerlain highlighters that I have were limited edition and are no longer available. But this is my favorite, favorite one. So if you ever find it on like a resale site or something, it is beautiful, 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 beautiful. And this is the Meteorites Pearl Dust Palette. Pearly pink, pearly gold, and pearly amber. I just take my brush and go in a circle around all of them and then I apply. It is so pretty. And I just, I know I said this in my last video, but I mean, I just don't understand why they make all these limited edition products. I mean, I guess they get it. They, they, I, I do understand. I do. It's all about the money. They want to get people excited, get the hype. So they buy it and then you can't get it. But it's a shame because these products are good and I hate using them because you guys can't get it. But at the same time, I want to use my makeup. And this is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Now for eyeshadow. I do have a new eyeshadow. This is the one of the ones that came out in over the summer. And they do come in these felt packages. This is Royal Jungle. I haven't used it yet. So I thought we would use it today with all of our other new Guerlain. The color story is just gorgeous though. So I am really, really excited to use it. I don't think that the color story is original. I think that I probably could dupe this with other shadows in my collection. However, I did really like the formula of the other girl on that I had, and I do really, really like this color story. So because I have never used this, I am going to swatch it so we can see how they swatch and see what the different shades look like. So I'm going to start with the dark brown, go to the highlight, gold, and then black. There's the brown. It feels really nice. This gold is more of a topper, like glitter topper. We've got another satin, and then the black. Or really, I guess it's a dark brown, it is more of a matte. I'm going to take a Sony G Worker 1, and I'm going to go into the dark brown right there. And we'll place that in the crease. I did not like that brush. So now I'm going to take a Tom Ford. This is a number 13. And we'll try that. I don't know if it was a combination of the primer mixed with the brush or if it was just a brush, but I didn't like the way it blended. This is better. I think maybe it was too dense. I take a Sony G Worker and go into the gold and we'll put that on the inner corner. I don't know, I think I like Imperial Moon better. I really thought I would like this more, but I think I'm gonna like Imperial Moon better. I take a BK Beauty A502 and go into the dark brown matte and we'll put that on the outer corner. I don't know what it is. It might be the primer that I used. I'm not sure. The normal primer that I 
I absolutely love is the Chanel um, Cream Shadow and Shade Skin Tones, and that is with my makeup at the lake. So I used a different primer, and a primer that I have used before. It's not like it's um, anything new or that I'm trying, but I don't know. Something just feels off, and I don't really know what it is. So before I completely write this quad off, I will try it with other primers and other brushes. It could be the brushes too. I've got my favorite brushes and they are either dirty and ready to be washed today or at the lake. But it's just not blending. It's not blending the way it should. So I'm just not, I'm not loving it. I'm going to go into that topper and see what happens when I put that down. So my right eye has the topper and my left eye doesn't. Do you see a difference? I don't see much of a difference, honestly. Which is why I don't really like these shades. I don't know. It's just not my favorite. It's just not. But I'm just going to stop. We're just going to stop. I'm going to now show you. I've got, I picked up two of the Guerlain eyeliners. My friend Maria raved, raved, raved about these. So I picked up two shades. I have Black Ebony and Brown Earth. I think we're going to use Brown Earth today. So I will line my eyes with that. I do have a Guerlain mascara. This is the So Volume Mascara. So I will line my eyes and I will use that. And then we'll be back for lips. I did pick up a new holiday lip shade. So there's the finished eye look after mascara eyeliner. I do think it looks better. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> but it's definitely not my favorite. But like I said, it could be the brushes. It could be the primer. It could be any number of things. So I'm going to keep playing with it. Um, but now I want to open up this new holiday lipstick. So I picked up shade number eight, Nude Alchemy, and I'm going to show you how they come. So here it is in the box and you take it out and then you just get the bullet. I do have a case. So here's the case and there's a mirror and then you just slide it in and then the little notch there keeps the mirror closed and then you open it and you have this little mirror. So I love the Guerlain cases. I think they're very, very beautiful. I do have a couple of them. I love the Guerlain lipsticks. They are really, really pretty. I wasn't going to get this lipstick and then um, Maria used it and I was like, oh, that's really pretty. So that's what it looks like. And I do think that that is a perfect shade. So I'm going to line my lips. I have the Chanel Nude Brune. This is almost done. I'm trying to use it up for the end of the year. I don't know if we'll make it. But we are close. All right, so again, this is shade number eight, Nude Alchemy, and this is part of their holiday 2022 collection. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is pretty. And no full face of Guerlain can be complete without the Guerlain Meteorite Finishing Powder. So um, I'm going to use one of the permanent collection ones. This is shade number three, medium. And that is what they look like and hopefully they don't fall out. So I'm going to take my Sonia G. This is the face one brush. I just swirl it around, pick up some on the brush, and then just buff. And that's it. That completes our full face circle on using quite a few new Guerlain products to me. I'm so excited I was able to pick up the Guerlain Holiday and pick it up on sale. And I'm so excited I was able to finally try these eyeliners. They are really, really nice. They do remind me a lot of the Sicily um, 
Fido Cold Star, I think waterproof, <laughs> some long name. Um, the new Cicely eyeliners, which I absolutely love. They remind me a lot of that. I'm really, really excited to have those in my collection. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear down below with, if you guys have tried any of these products and what you thought of them. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video.